Craig has uh, changed his hat now. I, uh, now you were explaining this to me. Uh, for the New York militia, both of these would be part of the uniform. Yes, this is my fatigue hat worn around camp, and this is my battlefield That's hat. That's what you would wear out yes. on the battlefield. Yes. And you were out on the battlefield uh, several times over the past few days for this uh, for the weekend. commemoration yes. weekend. You were mentioning, though, uh, there are literally hundreds of volunteers that are helping out, but as far as reenactors, uh, you've seen the numbers sort of dwindle, and, and you'd really like to see this as something that would continue on and maybe get a, a new generation interested in, in continuing yes. this. Yes, um, some of us, and I'm not as old as, as a few that I know, are getting to the point where we, um, we're looking for the younger, younger crowd to get involved and step in so that we can uh, uh, participate but not have to do all the nuts and bolts that are involved in putting the reenactments on. So. And there really is a lot of work that goes behind it. You were mentioning you travel all over the northeastern United States. Yes. And for the War of 1812, you'll be traveling to western New York for some of the commemorations out there as well. Right. We'll be at Queenston Heights, something that was brought up in the film, uh, in one of the first, sec I guess, the first section. Um, that's in October. And we're going to be able to do that on the anniversary date of October 13th. So that's exciting in itself. And for you, being a local historian and, and a reenactor, you enjoy it because for many people, especially children, you bring this chapter of history back to life. Many, many people may just be hearing about this for the first time and by having the living person in front of them reenacting it, I think it, it, it makes it uh, much bolder for them and, and uh, really brings it to life for them. Well, I, I believe that living history, as you say, it, is, it makes an impact because it's a visual uh, statement but it's also a live statement. It's better than a picture, it's better than reading it in a book. It's, you can actually uh, go up to a reenactor and say, can I look at that button? Can I try your hat on? Can I, uh, how do you make this? Or how is, how, you know, how is the uniform made? Right. And so forth. It's much more uh, vivid to yeah. see it in person. Yeah, it's, uh, to me it's the most in interesting part. And that's something you would hope that other people may carry on, especially now over the next couple of years be as we get closer to the uh, 200th anniversary here in Plattsburgh. And as we've mentioned, we, the number of reenactments have been expanded, covering more territory, more spots. It, it'd be nice to see more people get interested in, and actually participate. Yes, correct. Um, the, more, the more local uh, people we have that are interested, of course, uh, it's our local public involvement that really counts, uh, I, I think. You know, I want, we want to get the communities uh, involved. That's Jay-Z, Beekman Town, and so forth. Like I say, it's just not the Battle of Plattsburgh. That's right. All right, Craig Russell, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us. We're going to send it back over to Alice.